We're going to make a real seat insert now. This is a piece of black walnut, uh, four inches long and about one by one. I've drilled the 5 16th hole in it and we're going to put it on a threaded rod and this will enable us to put it into the lathe and turn it down. So we'll thread this on, get it into the vise, tighten it up, and then get it in our lathe and you can see how I turn this down. Okay, I've got my piece of wood chucked up in the lathe now and we're going to turn it down and uh, see how that goes. Seven. So now we can sand this. We we'll start with 80 grit. piece is not completely uniform. We've got to cut a spot here for the top of the reel seat and we have to cut this, this mortise in here. So we'll position that and make some marks. Now we're ready to trim the rest here. First I'm going to make some cuts here where we're going to end up trimming off the edges at the end. Now those are scrap pieces that we'll cut off. Now go in. Ready to take it over to the router and cut that mortise for the reel seat. We're ready to cut the mortise on the reel seat insert here, and we're going to cut it about three quarters of the length of the of the insert. We use a fingernail bit on the router to make that cut, and we've got a little jig fixture here that we'll position this in, and we'll watch and see how it goes. Okay, let's make the router cut here. Position it very precisely here. our cut and you can see we've cut the mortise in there for the reel seat and uh, we'll be sanding off the little burn mark there before we put the finish on the reel seat insert. So we'll slide this off and we're going to protect it in the vise a little bit. I'm just going to hold it down on the vise. I'm not going to clamp it in. Then we'll make a cut here. Way through, turn it around. Finish the 
cut. And we're going to cut the opposite side the same way. Halfway through. See what we've done now. So if we take the real seat insert, this piece will be going in here. The end cap will be going on here. And there's our finished real seat once we put some finish on it with some finishing sanding. Final step in our process in making real seats is to put the finish on. So here's one I've finished previously. Uh, it has Bellinger's real seat hardware on it. And then a silversmith in Southern Oregon does the engraving work for me. So it comes out very nice. So this is the insert that we just finished on the lathe. We cut the, the mortise in it and I've done the final hand sanding so we're ready to, to do the, uh, the varnish work on it here. So first I'm going to mask off a little bit of the area that's going to get glued when we glue the hardware onto the real seat. So just mask off some of this just to help with adhesion with painter's tape. There's part. Now I'll do the same thing in the side where the real seat cap is going to be. So we'll mask off that also. There's that. So now we're ready to put our finish on. I start with a coat of shellac when I do this. And a couple of coats actually and that helps promote adhesion of the tongue oil finish that I put on this black walnut and some of the other hardwoods. First thing is to put on some gloves because this is, can get kind of nasty stuff sometimes so I use nitride gloves and I'm putting a coat of shellac on and I'm just using a rag and rubbing this on. It will dry quite quickly here but you can start to see the grain show up very clearly where I'm putting the shellac on. I'll do the rest of it here and I'll put two coats of this shellac on and sand with a light sanding in between and there you can kind of see how the grain is starting to show up on this insert that I'm going to be making here for a rod. Once I do the two coats of shellac then I'll put on about eight coats of tongue oil finish um, and then some wax on top of that so that'll be my final real seed.